All right, so this is our three-axis measuring machine. It's ideal for measuring some machine parts as long as your tolerances aren't too tight or laser flame jet, water jet cut parts, those sorts of things. Uh, it's got a moving gantry, so this moves back and forth towards and away from the operator, up and down. Uh, the touch probe has a number of articulating positions that you can lock it into. So to do a measurement on a part like this, first thing we're going to want to do is measure the flat surface of the plane to get it aligned. Then we'll measure along an edge to get it straight. Then we'll set a point at the end and we'll make that corner our zero location. So I'm going to bring the probe in. Take those, we'll just stay down here, and we'll come along the edge, take those, and stay there, and we'll take that, and finish up. Now that we've taken our features, we can go to our display. So we can take that plane that we started with, go to the readout, we'll align that, so now it's flat, and we'll make that our z-axis zero location. We'll go to that edge we measured, we'll align that, and we'll make that our y-axis zero location. And we'll go to that point that we measured and make that our x-axis zero. So now we're zero on that corner of the part where this edge, this edge, and that plane surface come out and intersect. Now all the features that we measure are going to be taken from that point. So we'll go ahead and probe a circle here. We'll stay there. We can go ahead and probe a circle here. And what I'm doing is just pressing the finish key when I've done taking my points. And the readout's going to figure out, based on the points I've taken, what those features are. So now we've got a few features in the readout. We can come up and we can construct a circle through the centers of those two holes and that arc that we just measured. So we'll measure a circle. We'll go into our feature list and check each one of those. So we've got three features. We have finish. Now we get the circle that goes through those centers. We got an XY position for that and the diameter of that circle. Now on the part, if we want to see if that hole is concentric to this circle pattern, we can come in and check this hole location. Finish it up. And then up on the readout, we can go to a distance we can select the last hole we measured and the hole we constructed, hit finish, and that'll give us how far that XY position varies. Uh, to measure an angle on the part, we can come down and we'll probe one edge of the angle. We'll come in and probe the other edge of the angle. And up on the readout, we'll get a display as to what that angular measurement is. We can also pull up a view and visually see what the angle is. And we can change that to you know, the different angle sets depending on which way our part's dimensioned. And we get varying angle measurements. Um, when you're done with that, we can just hit the power button, hit the enter key a couple times, all those features disappear, we can check something else. So with this uh, plasma cut part, we can do something very similar. Um, let's say we've got an alignment to the center line of this part. We can probe a line here. We can probe a line over here. And then up on the readout, 
we can create a line, select those two lines, and hit finish, and that gives us a midline in between the two. Since that's going to be the center of our part, we can go to the readout view, we can align it to that, and we can zero out our x-axis along that center line, and then we can check our feature measurements to that center line. So down on the part, we can come in and probe each of these hole locations. And up in the readout, we've got XY centers. We've got a diameter for each of those holes. We can create a, an arc feature or a circle feature from those and find out what the overall radius is and what the center point of that is as well. So you can check odd shaped laser cut or plasma cut, water jet cut parts using something like this as well.